A lot of web designers out there have websites that are boring, very hard to navigate, and basically inconsistent. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips that can make your websites very consistent. Let's start off with number one. So here we have a style guide. You need to have a style guide or a design guide for your website. Without this, it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to have a consistent website. So your style guide here has to have your main colors. So in this example, I have my main color here, which is this blue. Now the accent color is based on my complementary color, which is this one here. So the question now is how do we use these colors? So the way we use them is by using this formula here called the 60, 30, 10. So the 60 here has to be a color that distinguishes between your sections, okay? It can also be used as a background color as well in most cases. The 30 here is a hint of your main brand color, but it shouldn't be all over the place. So in your particular page, it needs to be about 30% of the color on that page. And then finally, we have our accent color or our call to action color. This is where we have our buttons or areas where we really want to focus on so that people take action on that particular part. So this 60, 30, 10 rule is very, very important when you use your color. Next, we're going to have our text color here. Now, in most cases, you want to use grays. That's pretty safe, but you can also use a darker version of your main color or your brand color. That works really nice as well. But you want to make sure that this dark color is on a background where the contrast is really good for all your visitors to read on your website easily. So now that we have the colors, all set. The question now is, how do we create these colors? I have a tool here called coolers.co, which I use to choose my colors. So you can just hit the uh, space button here and this goes through all the colors. So let's say you've uh, chosen your color and this is the purple color. What you wanna do is to lock it like that. And then we can continue on choosing our color. So this color that we're going to look for now is going to be our color that we're going to use for our backgrounds. And this one here will give us very good contrast. So what I'm going to do now is to continue on and choose a color that's going to work as my uh, text color. So these are now my three colors, but it's how you use these colors now that really matters. And that is how I ended up with my design system. The next part is the fonts. You need to make sure that you choose your fonts that work really well together. So over here in Figma, I've gone ahead and chosen my H1, H2, H3, my paragraph text, my body text, and my subheadings. Now, all this information now has to be added back into our page builder. In this case, I use Divi. So let me go ahead and show you how you can apply these colors. So back over here, you wanna go straight to Divi and then click on theme options. So this now gives you your color palette. So this is the color palette you want to replace. So for example, let's say I want to add this uh, color here. I can just copy it like that, come over here and start adding it like that. So I'm gonna paste it. Next, I'm gonna come over here, choose my next color. So let's say it's this navy here, copy that, come back over here and add it like that. So once you've added all your colors, you can just come all the way down here and save changes. All right, great. So the question now is what do we do with the fonts? So if you want to add all your fonts, you need to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So you can give this page whatever name you want. So let's call this style since we are working on our style guide here. So I'm gonna say use uh, Divi Builder. So over here, we're going to start off with a single column. Next, we're gonna add some text in here like that. And now this is where you need to add all your text. And this is the text that we have over here according to all the sizes. So we're going to start with our H1, H2, and H3. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first one here is going to be heading one. So you wanna continue on and add heading two and heading three. So now that I've gone ahead and added heading one, two, and three, you wanna highlight it, click here on this drop down and set this to heading one, set the next one here to heading two, and then finally, you want to set this one here to heading three. Okay, great. Now, this one here is going to be your normal paragraph text. So now let's go ahead and define this in our design tab. So I'm going to come over here. So you want to highlight over here on the heading one first. Click on this little icon. And now we can choose our font. So it doesn't have to be Poppins. This could be whatever font that you choose. So I'm going to select that. 
Now we want to make this bold. So I'm going to come over here, make it bold. Now remember, we have our colors here, so I can choose my colors for my font if I need to choose them here. This is where I added them on before. The next step now is to add our sizes. So over here in Figma, you can see I have my size. So this massive one here is 80 pixels. And notice that we have this on the normal screen, and then this is the tablet, and this is the smartphone. So you want to make sure that your sizes are correct. So I'm going to start here with 80. So over here, we can go in and set up our size. So this one here, if I come back, it is set to 72 and then 60. Okay, so 72. And then finally, for our phone, it's 60. So you want to make sure you go in and set all your sizes here for all your titles. So I've done heading one here. I'm going to go ahead now and do heading two. So you hover over here, click on this little icon, make sure you set your font. So now I have all my headings in place. I have all the sizes and pretty much we're good to go. Finally, we have the paragraph text. So I'm going to come over here again and hover over and click on this little icon here. Change this to Poppins just to make sure that everything is consistent here with everything else. So finally, I just need to add my size here. So I'm gonna go with 17, and I also need to set my line height to 1.8. In fact, you know what, let's leave it at 1.7. So that's looking great. All right, so now that I have all my text here, the next step is to click here on the top and set our preset. So I'm gonna click here on create new preset from current styles, and I'm gonna call this main text. Apply this to our preset and save and save one more time. So now let's say we are designing our website and I need to add some text. I can just click here. Let's add our text module. Now notice what happens. The paragraph text is gonna come in with our preset that we set up earlier on. So if I need to add a title here, let's say I need to click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. And now I need to add my H1, I can just highlight it like that, click on this drop down, set my heading title, and pretty much I am good to go. My heading now is set to our preset. So every single page that you're going to build in your website, your text is going to be consistent, your paragraph text is going to be consistent, including all the colors that you have chosen. So as you can see, this is a powerful way to start designing your website. So you need to have these three things in place. First, choose your colors, make sure you have a design guide and this is how you apply all the information on your design guide onto your page builder. Now I've done this with Divi. I'll also be showing you how to do this with Elementor. And by the way, if you want to purchase Divi, the link to that is in the video description below. I have some bonuses that come with it. I give you my course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And all right, so there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. The link to purchase Divi is in the video description below. Also, let me know how you design your websites as well. Share your process in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.